and I got to tell you, for at least most of the day, uh, I haven't watched CNN in a number of hours, but this wasn't even mentioned about the Susan Rice angle here. And let, let me ask you, um, I, I mean, I don't know if it's a crime. I think it is, but I, I, I'm not a lawyer. But what about, maybe you have some idea. Again, I'm, I'm not a lawyer and, and you're not either. But it, there's no there's no executive uh, immunity or you know executive privilege or is there once you are not in the executive? In other words, a Susan Rice could she still claim executive privilege? Well, the story that I read, which was written by Eli Lake, yeah, who's a national security reporter for Bloomberg, very well respected. He is the one who broke the story, and inside that story, he says that it is not illegal, it is not a crime for the national security advisor to seek the unmasking of information. But the question is, why did she do it, and what did she do with it? Did she tell Ben Rhodes? Did she try to get it disseminated into the media? You, you know, we know from the story about when Mike Flynn's unmasking came out and a transcript of one of his phone calls got released, it said nine sources confirmed it to the Washington Post. So somebody did, wanted to spread this around. And, you know, you know Don, look, here, here's the problem here. Donald Trump went too far in his Saturday tweets when he said that Barack Obama ordered wiretapping, Watergate-style criminal activity. He went too far. And now the mainstream media has just glommed on to that one statement to the, and ignored virtually everything else. I wish President Trump had just said evidence is emerging of unmasking, and it's inappropriate. Then I think the mainstream media would have focused more on this, but they should focus more on it, even though Donald Trump went too far. And it, it's it's just a sad sign of the times where the media is just basically ignoring the unmasking story and try, not trying to figure out who did it and why. Yeah, absolutely, they're ignoring it. And, and you know, to be I mean, to be fair to Trump, um, in in a sense, uh, he was going on what he had heard and what he had seen on television and heard on radio, I know, Steve, uh, but, uh, which well, didn't mention the word unmasking. Accuse, yeah, I know, I know, he's the when president. When the president says that his predecessor engaged in a criminal war against style activity, he knows he's going to draw all the press to that severe allegation, right. as opposed to the nugget of truth that he should have focused on. Right, but uh, as you said, that nugget of truth, you know, even if it had been the other way around, uh, if it were uh, George W. Bush's people, look, look yeah. what they're focusing on today. Look what they're focused on all day today. The, the net worth of, of Jared Kushner and, and Donald Trump's daughter as a family, the net worth, as if there's something wrong with the fact that they're rich. That, that was the big story today. Yeah, and, and <laughs> we've all seen this pattern before, haven't we? I mean, this, 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 the press is, look, I, I've been critical when I thought it was worthy of being critical, but the press is nothing but critical of Donald Trump, and that's the problem. You really get the sense that he's never going to get a fair shake with the means, 